Okay, time for Kitchen Corner again. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Today, we're going to be talking about another utensil, another appliance in the kitchen that we can all use to make some delicious food. Got my trusty hat on. Let's let's talk. We're gonna, today, we're going to talk about a toaster to make some toast. Let's have some fun. Okay, toasters always will be plugged Always will have major options. Let's talk about it. They usually will have some options, some buttons you could hit. This one is a little bit more advanced, a little bit more. A lot of toasters will have buttons to adjust time. They will have slide buttons. Look at those lights. And they will usually have two slots. Some might have one, some might have five. They will usually have some slots. You put your bread in here, you put your bread, you could put bagels, you could put Pop-Tarts, you could put a lot of things. What they will do is they have heating coils. They have heating coils that when you plug them in, they heat up. Let me see if I can get them to work while they're going. They heat up our food while they are cooking. They heat them up and they toast them so that it gets crispy on the outside. We are going to talk about some rules first before we start cooking. We always gotta talk about some rules. My three H's. First H, our head. Where is our head? Our head is paying attention on appliances. If we get distracted, go off in another room, we start watching some TV, go play in the faucet, whatever. If we get, if we lose our attention away from our appliances, problems might happen. Something might slip in there. So we need to pay attention. Second, second H, our hands. That's right, we're working with food. So we're gonna go wash our hands. I am gonna post it like this. Oh look, faucet. And our green soap. Okay. Like I said, every video, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, I need someone to dry my hands off with. Grab a towel, anything you usually would use. Okay, we got our second H, our hands are taken care of. Now we need to talk about our utensils and our ingredients. Our utensils we're gonna to use today. This one's gonna be simple. We need a butter knife. A butter knife that's gonna spread what? It is going to spread our first ingredient, butter. Then we need something to spread the butter on. Now toasters are usually used, you could toast a lot of things like I said, but with the major things that are usually cooked in a Toaster oven is bread or bagels. You know, I know what? It's kind of early. I'm kind of interested in some toast. So let's talk about how we use this first. We do not ever use utensils when we are trying to grab stuff out of the out of the toaster or putting stuff in. What we will do, we are going to put our bread. So two slots. We use your two slots. If you want to make two pieces of toast, use, please drop right in. Okay, now that they have a dial, a lot of what these dials will mean is to use what kind of temperature you are using to have, uh, to have the heat that you have to toast your bread at. Okay, so I'm not trying to use, not trying to cook it for a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on its lowest setting and a lot of what a lot of toasters will have is they will have a lever to lower the toast in so that you do not need to touch it. So what we're gonna do, pop it lower. Okay, as you can see, we have a timer going. Not a lot of toasters will have timers. So I show you, I'm gonna lift up a little bit to be safe. It uses the heating coils inside the toaster to toast your bread. Okay, and what a lot of times what will happen is there will be a beep. There will be something that let the toaster will let you know that it is done. Right here, so we have, we have here, so let me talk about this one. We have 
a bit more. We have bagels. So we're going to be cooking this with bagels. We have a frozen function. I'll notice something called cancel. So what we're going to do, see, it's going gonna, it's gonna to beep. So most important safety, never, ever use anything metal to grab out of. Never stick your hands in there if it's not. So usually what a lot of toasters will have, they will have where you could pop up the bread. So if you don't feel like you could do it, please find a staff or another person to help you. Be very careful when you are grabbing the bread out. Usually, okay, it didn't cook a bit long, but see the crunchiness, the crunchy, uh, crunchy part of the toast. So next up, we're gonna spread our butter. Grab your knife. Always remember from, from the last couple videos with when knife safety, please keep the blade part of the knife away from you. And when you spread, spread away. Okay, I like a good amount of butter on my bread. That's why I'm gonna grab a chunk. You put too much as you want. Okay, grab your piece and always spread away. Spread away. There are other items you can put. Uh, I, have, I have some family members that like to put, you can put peanut butter, you could put jelly, you could put a lot of stuff on your toast. Okay, remember when you were in the kitchen, remember my three H rules. One, where's your head at? Your head is watching what you are cooking and it is making sure that you're paying attention to when it's done and that you're being safe. Two, your hands, the second H, your hands. When you are using a butter knife to spread, you spread away from yourself and you always cut away, never towards the body. And don't forget the last H and the most important H. When you are cooking, always have fun.